So take a look at this tweet. It's kind of interesting. Browns are the only team to have beaten the number one seeds this season, both of them. That would be the 49ers and the Ravens currently. They're the only team to win with four different starting quarterbacks. And they also have the team with the most salary cap on the injured reserve. It's 26% of their salary cap is on the injured reserve. They still hold the AFC's top wild card spot. So um, yeah, they're, we're running out of words to describe what they're doing <laughs> and what they're overcoming. It's, it's like, uh, you know, I, I mentioned, you know, Casey Kitteman and I, and of course Nick Carnes, you just highly we do our show. Uh, when we were talking about uh, this past game, every time something bad would happen, Casey would just say, "Oh, don't worry, they just needed a little bit more adversity. Like they they don't wake up until a big plate of adversity is in front of them. You know, just wait." And he was right. <laughs> it ended up they got they get behind seventeen to seven. They make a massive fourth fourth down stop by rookie Cam Mitchell, and they just flip it around. And it's like. I, I, I say this so many times. I come back to this tweet that I saw Quincy Carrier put out, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, where he said, you know, how do you solve the the backup quarterback problem in the NFL? It's not getting better backup quarterbacks. It's building a great roster around them. And you just continue to look at two undrafted free agents started at safety. One of them still a rookie last year that Andrew Barry brought in and DeAnthony Bell and then Ronnie Hickman. And they played phenomenally. Ronnie Hickman graded over what he was the highest graded rookie with over 90, according to PFF. Uh, and he was playing free safety, which he was not good at in college. And so you, you look at this and this just this roster from top to bottom, the way it's been built and the way these coaching staff uh, have coached up all the players on the practice squad coming off the street, whatever it is, they just all are bought in. They believe in what is being preached and they're just getting it done. I mean, I can't, I wish I could explain it a little bit better, but I'm just, I'm, I'm on the ride and I'm enjoying it. <laughs>